Good evening. This is uh, Dr. Von Elton. It's August 13th. I'd like to give you another, another very brief COVID update. And uh, tonight I'd like to talk about some statistics that uh, I just reviewed. Uh, we know that uh, a couple months ago we had a very peak of the disease and the media is full about how the disease has recurred. Particularly here in Virginia, we're considered a hot spot. Now, that, however, is not in our area. That is really down in Tidewater in the Hampton Roads area. So I'm going to give you some statistics that, that back that up. Statewide, statewide, the incidence of statistics around the peaks in May, mid-May, was about 1,000 cases per day. Then by mid-June, it dropped about half of that, 485 cases per day, uh, and then rose here around July 12th, it's been up a thousand cases per day, back up to what it was uh, in May. But that's entire statewide. So what's going on in our area, the northern and northwestern area? So let me give you these statistics. Um, we had back in mid-May about 767 cases per day at our peak. Now, by mid-June, this dropped to one-third of that. 247 cases per day. We didn't drop by one half third the rest of the state. We dropped to one third. Now we're, it's peaked up a little bit, but it's only 300 cases per day, well below the state, which is over three times what we are experiencing. Let me talk about hospitalizations. Hospitalizations, which peaked in our area in early to mid-May, were 76 per day, but now we are down to about 17 per day, about 25% less hospitalizations from our peak. And if you actually look at the death rates, we're actually even doing better. Uh, the death rate in our area in early to mid-May peaked at about 33 per day, and we're presently down to about 4.5 per day. That may increase some because there's been a delay. So I think that's very significant. We are relatively flat. If I could show you the curve here, I don't know if you can see this, but this is the area of Rappahannock, Rapidan. This is the green bar is Culpeper County. Fauquier County is the blue bar and other uh, Rappahannock and the other counties are down here. So we don't see a really big increase per day. Now I know everybody is getting quite weary of uh, staying indoors, everybody I talk to, I myself. But I would like to talk about the lessons of St. Louis in 1918, during the middle of this great pandemic. Earlier, Philadelphia, at the end of September, they wanted to have a big parade honoring the troops returning from World War I. So the city fathers and the mayor held this big, big parade, 200,000 plus attended to it, and they had this huge spike. Meanwhile, out in St. Louis, they were smart. They kind of lay low. They stayed in their foxholes, as I say, and they did not have a big peak of disease. It very low, or laid low, uh, stayed very uh, low incidence, but they got tired. And what happened? Everybody started to come out. They got confident, and then lo and behold, they had a big peak of disease. What's the lesson here? Don't get tired. Don't get weary. We're making great progress on vaccines. I'll talk about more about that later. But do continue to wear your mask. I'm going to give another video in a few days about masks and some good data I want to share with you about masks. But I also want to tell people, most importantly, avoid crowds and really, really avoid social gatherings at all costs if you can, because that's where we're presently seeing the spread. I hope everybody is safe. Stay well. We're getting through this thing. So take care and uh, uh, God bless. Thank you.